New tonight, pictures of crowded high school hallways like these popping up on social media, causing some concern. As more schools reopen, we are hearing about more coronavirus cases in the classroom, most recently in Greenwood. Center Grove schools reported two new cases on Friday, and that's where that picture was taken. Our Lauren Costick spoke with a student who says she's worried. Do you feel safe when you go to school? Do you feel safe? I don't, um, but... I don't really have a choice. This Center Grove High School senior who wanted to remain anonymous says she is currently doing in person learning because personally she was unable to do virtual since the start of the school year. She says many students are not following the rules, so we are required to wear masks. However, I do see a lot of students take them off and I don't see like a lot of repercussions for taking them off. This photo of a crowded hallway at Center Grove High School was posted on social media. You can see many students wearing masks and you can also see very little room to move. The school district tells us since passing periods here at the high school are only five minutes, it's not considered close contact according to their guidelines and the CDC. The district said close contact is defined by at least 15 minutes and within six feet. I'd say there's also a lot of anxiety, like more than normal, because there's always a little anxiousness in high school, but just everyone is so on edge because Who's going to get it next? Friday, the district announced two positive cases, one at the high school and the other at the elementary school. And there is going to be another case. So it's not a matter of if it's a matter of when and who. She says students are mostly worried about bringing this virus home to high risk family members. If you don't care about getting sick, that's one thing. But during this time, you could be putting a lot of other people at risk. And there are people that have to go home to families with high risk family members. Center Grove Community Schools has taken a lot of steps to protect students, but this student says it hasn't been enough. 